Well, we had an interesting debate this morning, Michael Bishop from University of Chicago and myself, about whether um, CAR T-cell therapy would replace autologous stem cell transplant in the management of relapsed and refractory diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. Now, I don't know who won the debate, <laughs> but I think it was a, a lot of good information was presented. I think um, traditionally uh, we use that as the second line therapy, autologous transplant, uh, for treatment of patients in the second line with large B-cell lymphoma, that is those who have relapsed. And um, in the second line, it, it, from a number of sources, we know that people who have had rituximab as part of their first therapy and who progress within the first year of their primary therapy have a fairly poor outcome with uh, uh, autologous transplant. Um, roughly, uh, um, the success rate is roughly 20% or so, um, three-year um, progression-free survival. Um, um, alternatively, patients that have late relapses and are sensitive to chemotherapy tend to do better. And so I think that you can't lump all patients together with regard to autotransplant or CAR-T. You can subset them. It's certainly in the second line. So I think, you know, based on data from the Juliet trial um, and, and the other clinical trials that uh, treated patients actually in the third line, but many of whom were, were progressing within a year of uh, their uh, second line therapy, including some that had transplants, the results suggest to me that in a poor prognosis set of patients like those that are early progressors, CAR T cells is probably the way to go. You can get uh, achieve roughly a 30% uh, progression-free survival that's long-term. We have 24-month follow-up on Juliet, and our study at Penn has up to five years of follow-up now uh, with very, very durable remissions. We saw at Penn one late relapse, and Juliet had two events beyond a year, the first year. One was an unrelated uh, event, um, not, uh, to, unrelated to the lymphoma, and the other patient had a relapse, so very rare. And a third in that group of patients with high-risk disease, I think it's pretty good. However, before uh, I can officially recommend that, I would say that we have to wait to for the results of three randomized trials that are in progress that are randomizing patients to standard of care versus um, um, CAR T cells as second line. In the third line, however, I think the data are fairly poor for a, th uh, a, a third line salvage therapy followed by auto or even allo transplant. There, I think uh, we clearly do better in the third line with CAR T cells. And in fact, like that I can recommend. And that is indeed the FDA label and the e, uh, EMA label for CAR T cells.